Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about the comic book industry implosion. The drama continues with Diamond Distribution. Apparently Diamond's got a plan that's not going to sit very well with a lot of small press comic book publishers. Uh, Peter Samedi of Alterna Comics just posted this on Twitter about a half an hour ago. He says that an update from Diamond regarding payments to vendors and suppliers. Looks like we need to hunker down for five months until payments are received in full, right? No word on the cancellation or adjustment of prior or future purchase orders or a timetable on receiving new items. I'm telling you guys, my spider sense was going off when Jeppy wrote the letter he wrote. It sounded to me like almost like a goodbye letter because he was telling shops to be creative. You know, be creative, sell what you have. Uh, you guys can do it, you can do it. But what he really was saying was, you guys can do it on your own without me because I'm checking out. And this seems to be, again, that was what I was getting from it. But this seems to be more of an indication that Diamond may not come back. Uh, they may not come back online. And the comic book industry is going to uh, have to, to get its shit together and find another way to distribute material if it's going to survive. This is what was sent to retailers. Jeppy Family Enterprises, Dear Diamond Vendors, COVID-19's dramatic impact on businesses around the globe cannot be understated. My leadership team is working nonstop in concert with expert consultants and our publisher partners to safeguard the comic industry's future. Thousands of retailers and publishers and hundreds of thousands of fans look forward to the products we distribute, and I take that responsibility very seriously. Jeppy's been kind of uh, uh, missing in action since he wrote his letter, uh, his goodbye letter. Last week, we held vendor payments to allow for careful analysis of information from our industry, our business, and the effects of the virus. We assured you that we would communicate our revised payment schedule when we were able to, and I appreciate your patience and the many supportive messages I've received this week. Now, let's backtrack a little bit. Three weeks. Three weeks, the comic book industry went from, okay, we're shutting down non-essential businesses, including comic book shops, to Jeppy announcing that he was basically going to shut down Diamond for the foreseeable future, which means comic shops can't get any new material. He said that they're not going to ship any new comics, they're not taking any shipments from publishers, and then not long after that, Diamond said that uh, they're halting payments to vendors. All of these are not a good sign. They're not a good sign. And this this crisis, this global crisis we're in right now, is going to take out weak business models. The comic book direct market is a very weak business model. Um, you know, it has been for years. It never fully recovered from the crash in the 90s. Again, to make another Lord of the Rings analogy, Frodo got stabbed. He never fully recovered from his stab wound. It just took a while for it to catch up to him. And that's what's going on here. Um, that is absolutely what's going on here. The, the industry never recovered. And its its demise has been hastened exponentially over the last couple of years. And here we are. Um, but, you know, I mean, all these warning signs were there. The comic book industry at any point in time could have been like, hey, maybe we need to find another distribution method. Maybe we need to think outside the box a little bit. And there's, you know... The, there have been some suggestions, there have been some options, I mean, uh, but for the most part, you know, a lot of creators and publishers have moved on to graphic novels and doing manga and uh, maybe even a little digital, which isn't that big of a deal, but they've tried other distribution methods, but nobody ever came up with a viable, uh, a viable alternative to Diamond and everybody put their eggs into that basket and now the basket has a broken handle and a hole in the bottom. And uh, here we are. So let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. Working with what we know today below is the outline of vendor payments from Diamond Comic Distributors and Diamond Book Distributors. Beginning this week, the week of April 6th, you will receive 25% of the weekly amount due under your contract terms. Each subsequent week, we, you will receive a 25% payment of that week's balance due. This reduced payment schedule will continue for six weeks with the remaining 75% due in each of those weeks being deferred. Following the six week period, we will begin payment of the deferred balance and equal payments over a 13 week period. While we understand that this will have significant impact on everyone, 
And the situation could change. We also recognize that our world is in the midst of an unprecedented crisis and aggressive action is necessary. Basically, even though we owe you, we owe you money, we're giving you the terms of our repayment plan. Uh, I don't think that works with most creditors. You can't call up your credit card company or uh, the bank you've got your car loan through and be like, here's how I'm going to pay you. Uh, you know, that's, this is how it's going to be. But uh, here we are. Because, uh, you know, Diamond has a lot of people in a very, very tight spot. Has uh, retailers and publishers in a very, very tight spot. You know, you basically have to play ball with Diamond and you have to play by their rules. And this is a problem. This is a huge problem. It's been a problem for years. And now we're seeing exactly why it is such a huge problem. In addition to the steps outlined above, our leadership team is accepting 50% salary cut. That's not a good sign. Landlords have agreed to rent deferrals and various other providers of professional services have agreed to defer their payments. Never before have we experienced such a test of our resolve in a demonstration of our commitment to each other. Now more than ever, we need to come together in support of one another, knowing that these difficult decisions will allow us to emerge from this trying time and thrive once again. They're not going to. Thank you for your understanding and support, Steve Jeppy, Jeppy Family Enterprises. They're not going to thrive, Mr. Jeppy. The comic shops are not going to come back online. They can't, they're not going to. The comic shops and the small publishers are not going to come back. And he knows this. He knows this. He's trying to be positive. He's trying to put a good spin on it. But Mr. Jeppy, Steve Jeppy, is a businessman, and he knows it's dire and it's game over at this point. And he's just dragging this out as long as he possibly can. And it does sound to me like they're maybe buying some time to, I don't know, file for Chapter 11, uh, reorganize the company. Uh, I don't know. They laid off a bunch of staff. Leadership's getting a 50% pay cut. Again, all this happened within three weeks. And I understand that the entertainment industry right now is being decimated by this thing, but a lot of that's because it depends on uh, on-site production of movies and, and that sort of thing. You know, what's not being affected too much is actually animation because people can work from home. Comics, most people work from home. You know, the problem, the weakest link in comics is that, uh, you know, people have to go to specialty shops to buy the comics. If comics were, you know, I don't know, strictly mail order, and people will just mail the stuff out every month. Everybody's already working at home. There's no reason for the disruption uh, in the service, but because everybody was using Diamond to distribute their comics and you had to go to a specialty shop to buy your comics, uh, here we are, you know? And unfortunately, comic shops are probably gonna go the way of record shops and arcades after this because most of them are very much week to week, month to month. They do not have the cash reserves to have this this uh, dragged out for five months. You know, small publishers don't have the cash reserves to have this dragged out five months. We saw that Marvel is already laying off a third of their staff, their freelance staff. Marvel's bankrolled by Disney, but Disney's hurting right now too. You know, I don't know who's gonna survive this uh, in comics, I'll be honest. I think people who are doing crowdfunding will survive. I think people who do digital distribution will survive, but the comic book industry right now needs a time machine. They need to go back in time about 10 years and come up with a plan B because there never was a plan B. And that's not gloating. That's not taking delight in other people's misery because I know a lot of people uh, are gonna be out of work, but the warning bells have been sounded for years that there needed to be an alternative to Diamond. And this is exactly why whoever survives this is gonna find a workaround. And even if Diamond comes back online, if everybody's left to their own devices for five or six months, they're gonna come up with an alternative. You know, the companies that survive, they're gonna come up with an alternative to Diamond, a way to get their product out there. And it unfortunately might involve bypassing comic shops altogether. Because what's the point? You know, if all the comic shops are gonna be out of business when we come out of this thing, you know, why would you put all your eggs into that basket? I would be like, well, we're gonna produce our stuff. We're gonna come up with a way to distribute our material directly to consumer. And if the comic shops come back online, if, then we'll come up with a way to get our, our material to them too. But uh, everybody's, you know, putting pencils down. I mean, it's, it's cause they can't, these companies can't afford it. They can't afford 
to go freaking five months without getting their money. This is ridiculous. Uh, it's it's over. It is completely over. And it's over much, much faster than I thought it was going to be. I mean, literally, Diamond snapped the comic book industry at this point. The, the direct market. Um, and I don't think there's any coming back from this. And it's not going to be the same when we do come back from it. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. And we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.